Welcome to Flourish. I'm Diane Planetan, and you're in the right place if you're ready to create an inspired life. And we do so by working on our own personal development so we can be strong role models for those we love and mentor. Last week, we had an in depth conversation with the one and only Sarah Payton. Oh man, she has got such a wealth of knowledge on how to keep yourself building up positive, inspiring, and living the life you deserve. She said a couple of quotes that I wanted to share with you because it was quite an in-depth conversation, so you may have not gotten around to listening to it yet. One of the quotes she said is, our lives are crafted by our early experiences. Yes, there's more and more talk about how our early childhood development really sets the foundation for our future self. But there was one other thing Sarah said that I wanted to remind you about. And she said, the amygdala doesn't know that time has passed. Mm. So think about that. You put two and two together. Everything that you are today is building upon who you were in your early childhood, what exposure you had. And also Sarah said, it's not truth, it's trauma. So if you did have a traumatic childhood experience, regardless of what that may be, you have to use those building blocks to regroup, reform, and <laughs> remind your amygdala <laughs> what time frame it's in. Because that is the emotional side of our lives, it doesn't know the difference from when you were in a car accident when you were five years old to today. How fascinating is that? You know, neuroscience is just it's, it's exponentially growing day by day to help us understand this beautiful robot that we are. We have this powerful CPU in front of us right inside ourselves. So the other thing is that I wanted to share that with you because Remembrance Day is coming up this week and Veterans Day in the United States. Lest we forget those who fought for our freedom and our rights, but lest we forget not only what the physical battle that they went through, but the mental anguish that they went through. And it's, it's not even comprehensible to me to actually be able to even assume to be in those shoes. And even in this day and age, unfortunately, men and women are still going to war to represent our own freedom. And for that, I'm grateful. For that, I'm thankful. And for that, I really hope that they are able to stay strong, strong in their mind, strong in their spirit. It can't be easy. I, I, I'm just going to say that out loud. <laughs> be grateful for everything you have. Be grateful for being alive for having what you have. You can see over time, us humans, we're resilient. We do not give up easy, even when we want to. Even when we're like, cheapers, creepers, just take me now. If you're going through those demons, if you're going through something that you just don't know how to bounce back from, start exploring, listening to podcasts like this, reading books, Sarah Payton has a beautiful workbook to, to work through. There are courses online. There, there is so much material now that if you have access to this podcast, you have access to that material in order to lead a more inspired life and to build your resistance, to build, build upon the foundation of whatever that may be that you had in your early childhood. Your mother is listening. She is watching over you. And mm -hmm, you can build upon that. You can rise up to the occasion and you can start today. It's never too late. We always keep learning. I don't care how old or young you are. You have the capacity and it's frustrating. It's work. I thought about that this morning when I was working out and I, I tried to, uh, I'm doing some strength training and 
you know, you really feel it in your muscles. That weight, let's say you have a five pound weight and you're just doing some arm lifts. That five pounds, the more lifts you have, the more strain you put on your muscles, the more it feels heavier and heavier and heavier. That's exactly what it's like when you're learning something new, when you're trying to change your environment, trying to change your persona, trying to change your identity. Because if you don't want to resonate with who you were, change that chapter, or like Sarah says, change the contract. Those weights on your muscles physically are the same as they are mentally. Whether you're learning a new language, learning a new subject matter, or just learning how to cook, it's a struggle. But the struggle is real and the struggle is the pathway because the more you feel it, the closer you are. And it's so fascinating, so amazing. So this week, I just wanted to say, hey, you know, let's be grateful, let's move forward and let's live a more inspired life. <laughs>